Okay, real quick, I want to make a comment on the this whole like Kim Porter situation and the book, the alleged book that was just released or her diaries, her alleged diaries that were just released um, in the form of a book by someone that was trusted of a friend of a friend. Do I believe the book was real or do I believe the diary entries are real? It's giving me 70-30, but only because, like, a lot of the stuff that's alleged in the book is already rumored that even regular people like me already heard about it. So it's like, it, you know what I mean? But then it's like, I feel like it'd be more credible if it came from one of, like, her friends or something like that. But then it's like, if it came from one of her friends, then maybe it wouldn't have been released. You know what I'm saying? Like, if it came actually from one of her friends, maybe it wouldn't have been released because the friend would have to like what was put in the book or the diaries the friend would either be implicating themselves in like a lot of crimes or the friend might be too scared to put themselves put their name attached to it and you know scared of retaliation so like this quote-unquote person who's a friend of the industry that got all this information that's alleging that they got information and videos and, and pictures or whatever that's also being moved around the industry. Like, videos and pictures is being moved around the industry. It's kind of interesting. Again, I don't know. It's kind of 50-50 with, like, is is this the, a real friend that's even real? It could be somebody just capitalizing off of the book. Like, I didn't buy it or whatever, but, like, I heard about it. And it's just, like, I don't know. I feel like it definitely obviously would be more credible coming from one of her closer friends, clearly, even though some people's that are famous, their friends and family lie sometimes, unfortunately, just to get a check. Like some people's friends and family lie about things to get a check. <laughs> so even if it was a close friend or family that was coming out about it, who knows if that was actually real because we've seen several other people's famous people who have passed on friends and family come out and just blatantly lie just so they can get some money so even if she did have a friend or family come out we wouldn't know if they was telling the truth anyway but do i believe <sighs> um like i said to me it's like is the person telling the truth it's like 50 50 but like the information is definitely 70 30 but what parts you know what parts i honestly what who i really want to call to the stand for real for real me personally is kimura i really want to call kimura to the stand like after hearing the story in the the book or whatever and reading what happened and everything and her having a relationship like an intimate relationship with kimura it's not surprising to me it's not surprising at all her having the relationship that she had especially based on the timeline right like they were all really really young and modeling and the, the height of their modeling was in the late 80s early 90s her and kimura were around the same age and kimura had got when kimura had got with russell start popping out kids uh kim was already with P diddy for all oh, like 10 years at this point and then she started popping out kids with diddy um like late 90s early 2000s her kids are late 90s kim's kids are late 90s early 2000s with diddy so it makes sense that they are the beards for their men right because russell is is rumored to be bisexual also so diddy is bisexual so it makes sense that they're beards for their men but they're also very close and so they're like okay lavender marriages lavender love right cool and that's to me not surprising i'm not surprised by that um it's whatever it's cool right but i really want to it makes what stands out to me about hearing the story or what was read alleged may or may not be her diary entries is when she passed away kimura's reaction to her passing i do remember like when she passed a lot of people in the industry or whatever but the one that sticks out to me for real for real Cause I always like more, you know, she a Taurus, I'm a Taurus. Hello, you know what I'm saying? But like, what stands out to me is like Kimora's reaction. Like I remember vividly, I really vividly remember Kimora's post 
about Kim. And she had a long, heartfelt post about Kim when she passed. Everybody posted something about her, like put her picture up and said something. But I really remember Kimora's post about Kim passing. And to me, the whole thing about them having a, a, um, a love thing going it makes sense to me. It stands out. It makes sense to me. Um, again, don't don't know what's going on. Don't know, but I would really want to hear her 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 recant like her honest recanting of the stories of what happened. Like I really want to hear Kamora's honest recanting of the stories. I guess of what she can tell us without implementing herself. <laughs> in you know certain things right like she can't really see. but the fact that if it is true if everything is true right like if we're taking it for face value the fact that so many people knew that this man was involved in biggie's death because biggie wanted to go start a new uh uh label somewhere else the fact that everybody knew the fact that people knew or was heavily hinted that he had something to do with Pac's death. The fact that it, what we really need is also who we need to call to, to the stand is the list of Kim's exes in between Diddy. We know whose Diddy's partners are in between Kim. We know who they are. We know them girls. We don't care about them. Who we need to call to the stand is the list of Kim's exes and the cause of their death because it's very easy as a wealthy person to pay a coroner to just say because coroners coroners really know where the bodies are buried coroners know where the bodies are buried them motherfuckers know where the bodies are buried so it's easy to pay a coroner just to say pneumonia it's easy to say that so I really want to know if we can get a list of Kim's alleged partners in between Diddy and then if if they're deceased, the cause of decease, oh now we now now we really got to call Kim to Kim Kimora to the to the stand. Now we got to really call all of Kim's old friends to the stand because it's alleged through several psychics um that she's given information in different forms to multiple people and they said that one of them was cassie they say that cassie got a lot of information and she um uh, she was able to go into her lawsuit right with her ed evidence of herself and what she experienced right but just her evidence of herself and what she experienced did he fold it in, 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 in less than 24 hours for $30 million? $30 million in fucking cash, bro. Imagine that shit. And the thing is, is um, Cassie had a little bit more on her side than Kim did. And it's very unfortunate when I think about them two and their situations with the same man. Cassie not only had... Um, biracial whatever privilege and light skin privilege no, let, let's call it what it is colorism on her side because kim was definitely that girl in the late 80s throughout the 90s kim was definitely that girl you know what i'm saying but cassie she had light skin privilege on her side um she was the girl of the day you know of her time and um she had that on her side but but more importantly cassie had two things working for her she had a white man on her side and a white man that was well connected she didn't go and do a, a kim kardashian and just go pull off some fucking random fucking pete pete whoever the fuck his last name is the pete dude she didn't get one of them she got her somebody and i don't even know her husband like that but he looked like he connected to a family full of fucking jewish lawyers like let's call it what it is cassie looked like she married a nigga or a, a white man that that looked like he got all his uncles are jewish lawyers that's what he looked like i don't even know what the fuck the man do for a living but she married into some money let's start there he loved her and because he loved her he called up his family hello somebody 
who are well connected well connected and because she's connected to you and if she got the right evidence so it's three things working for cassie you got to be married to the right man who's well connected and you got to have all the evidence that's working in your favor kim didn't really have that. she didn't she didn't trade off to a, a man who was well connected and then on top of that you kept having kids with this dude you know what i'm saying so with Cassie's situation, Cassie got off and she got away from Diddy, but she left with her beauty and her youth and no kids. Men love that. Men love a woman with youth, beauty, and no kids. Kim had shit working against her. You know what I'm saying? Like, not only are you darker, she was gorgeous, but she was darker. Let's call it what it is. And then you kept having his kids. Yeah, you're gorgeous, but you keep having this man's kids. How many men are that are well-connected are taking chances like that on a guy that's already well-connected and well-established and well-known and stands alone on his own on a pretty chick who's arm candy and who's been arm, ca arm candy to this man for over 20-some years now who keep popping out a kid for him? Not a lot of men are, are trading their network for that. Like, let's just call it what it is, a spade a spade. You know what I'm saying? Cassie had a lot working for her. Not only that... She had a, a ample amount of evidence because for to make him fold in less than 24 hours, it wasn't just that video that we all saw um, on TV. It was not just that video that made that man fold for $30 million. He would have argued that down. He don't give a fuck about that video. She had other things. And a few of the psychics, I don't know what's going on, but a few of the psychics say that Cassie was one of the people that Kim gave hardcore evidence too about these alleged you know freak offs so it wasn't just that video that we all saw of him beating cassie up or cassie having pictures and stuff of her face being beat up and all that or whatever nah she had other evidence that alleged may come from kim from back in the day and she might have gave some of that stuff to cassie along with her other friends that she might have gave different things different informations too and with him being behind bars now it makes me wonder i wonder what kimura got what because kimura got some information kimura got some type of information um i wonder what she got you know what i'm saying uh but again to, to make him fold in less than 20 for cassie to make him fold in less than 24 hours she had something else other than just the information of what happened to her personally to make him fold in less than 24 hours because for him to go into jail and then within less than 24 hours so many ceos including district attorneys who were on his payroll let's call it allegedly stepped down from their positions so he was clearly trafficking cassie and many other women to these people the ceo people to enjoy at his parties one of them and or maybe a couple of them being in the judicial system so who did he have on his payroll which lets me know cassie had evidence not just of her own uh victimhood she was married to somebody who was well connected and uh Again, because she was well connected, they were like, okay, you got evidence and you now are part of the team. You're part of our family now. We're going to we're gonna take him down. Because let's be real. Why would lawyers who know other lawyers that hang out with other lawyers, even though they're at a different firm, start up drama with a well-connected, well-established, wealthy client? That's just common sense. Why would I, I, as a lawyer who got very, very wealthy clients of a firm that has very very wealthy clients start up some drama with their clients who are well established at that point you would just be like oh i got a new client she came in she gave me a whole bunch of information she gave me a whole bunch of evidence of this this that and a third of your client and then that lawyer will be like okay well let me see the information if you give me the information we can make her death look like an accident and then she'll just be this alleged beautiful woman that tried to take a wealthy man down 
because he broke up with her and she didn't have nothing else after that they make it look like that all the time they make her they make a death of a beautiful woman a beautiful model look like that all the time because the ceo of the company that she worked for broke up with her nah cassie had a lot of a, a good hand she played it well bro unfortunately kim did not kim didn't have a good hand she didn't have a white man on her, on her side she didn't have a white man lover on her side that was well connected she did not have that on her side but what she did have on her side was ample amount of evidence that she give that she's given to multiple people so hopefully it works in her favor hopefully the people on it on the tapes Hopefully it wasn't just her trying to get the tapes that only had Diddy and the younger Usher, Bow Wow, and um, uh, Justin Bieber on it. I mean, that's, you know, incriminating enough. He'll be he'll go to jail for a long time. But hopefully she had also got video of his clientele that all stepped down from all those positions within 24 hours of his arrest. Hopefully she got those videos. That's what we need to know. I mean, but then again, are those firms really gonna, are they gonna release that evidence? Probably not. Probably not. They're not gonna release that evidence. They're not. Even if they found that evidence, they ain't gonna let it let nobody know the district attorney was a part of this shit and the CEO of this company, that company, that company was a part of that shit. They're not gonna let nobody know. But I feel like the rabbit hole is deeper than Diddy just humping on rappers and underage uh pop stars and underage rappers and singers. I feel like it's way bigger than that. He was supplying people for um higher up positions in other industries he was definitely supplying people for them they say that the modeling industry is nothing but just human trafficking sex trafficking all the young girls are just trafficked for older rich wealthy men that's it they say the music industry is like a mix of the same thing including drugs and alcohol because the way that the artists are able to do concerts some of the artists don't even know that their tours are a part of a huge uh drug trafficking ring some of them don't know some of them do know that their the tour dates are a part of huge drug trafficking rings to different states and countries um and then they say the movies is nothing but is how you launder the money <laughs> you do a big movie with about a good hundred and fifty million dollar budget, who's to say we spent fifty million on Pyrotex or not? Who's to say that? We just gonna say that it was Pyrotex. Who's to say that we spent fifty million on worldwide advertisement or not? I mean, how do you know that? How do you know that? The music the movie industry is how you clean up the money. Like <sighs> I don't know, man. It's a scary game. It's a scary game. And it makes me think about some of the people I like. And it's hard to think about it, but I mean, I don't know them. But some of the people I like, I'm like, damn, man. <sighs> but they give me them vibes. Though. I ain't gonna lie. They give me them vibes of they definitely down. They definitely down. They down for it. Uh but that's just interesting rest in peace can watch well, uh, they say that her again i don't know but the psychics are saying that her energy is not resting until she see that man behind bars for good her vengeance is him and i feel it i understand um a piece of me just you know maybe like 20 percent of my girl 20 percent of that you got to take responsibility for you really do even though again I can understand in the grand scheme of things or like this man is you know you don't watch this man get away with so much for so long and then you see his his direct connections to certain people it's like oh my god where can i where can i go where can i run but you know lucky enough again I mean, she she her cards that she was dealt she wasn't as lucky as cassie cassie got some cards that she she was lucky and she played her hand very well she played her hand very well because Cassie had quite a few cards that was like all of her ducks were aligned. All of her ducks was in a row. Kim didn't have that many ducks in a row. She didn't have 
that many cards on her side she 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 wouldn't have made it it her her out even if she tried her outcome was still would have been the same it, it still would have been the same even if she tried to go to public pub, publicity route it still would have been the same it would have been oh she did this smear campaign tour and then still ended up pneumonia you know what i'm saying still ended up pneumonia and then it still would have been a scorned woman a scorned ex mad that this millionaire mogul billionaire mogul moved on without her after pumping her with all these kids and she's just some washed up uh model and now she's mad that he's moved on to a younger woman and it's just like you know it's fucked up and and it really makes me think about that entire industry because she's she was a model first her and kimura models young models it makes me realize like damn like the women across the board in that industry entertainment across the board music film everything they don't have no fucking autonomy like money can't move for them without them having to do crazy shit and it's so unfortunate that's so sad that's so sad that's so fucked up and that's so unfortunate but it's so real um it's just so fucked up and it's like even if they wanted to like you know stomp their feet and put their foot down it'd be another whole slew of other beautiful stupid beautiful women who don't even see the bigger picture that are willing to do the crazy shit that they just did in order to have just a little bit of freedom and a little bit of autonomy instead of realizing like damn y'all could really flip this shit on y'all head if y'all wanted to if y'all really stuck together but it's just too many women with internalized misogyny to even begin to even start a crusade like that and that's so fucked up <laughs> that's so fucked up and i really feel bad for the kids i for the kids sake i hope that those diaries entries are not real because that's some shit to hear that your mom had to be involved in some crazy shit like that nine months pregnant with you and i'm saying people will not blame the kids they have nothing to do with that and let's be real you know if you're if you're old enough to realize your parents had life a life before you your parents had a life before you like before you was even thought of your parents was living their own life but sane people would thoroughly understand like you can't blame the kids for that they ain't got nothing to do with that shit but you know the internet is not a sane place we all know and it's just fucked up for the kids sake i hope those diary entries are not real and they're not true but you know we've heard crazier things and the the, the bs that they be into i put a video out earlier about you know the whole illuminati and all that kind of stuff y'all could go check that out uh about that but you know I feel like it goes deeper it's bigger than a than a diddy i feel like it's bigger and and crazier than a than a diddy situation now will the gods allow the whole entire house of cards to come down i don't know i doubt it i feel like the masses wouldn't be able to handle accepting the whole truth i don't even think the masses like i was saying in my last video i don't even think the masses has the capacity to implement a whole new way of life uh without their the leaders in every industry that we have that exists now i don't even think the masses would be able to handle um and uh, you know an uproar like that i feel like he'll go down for everybody else's you know sins and then five more six more different types of little ditties will pop up all over the world or all over the country and they'll just be supplying the new supply that the elite need because that's all diddy was he was just a bootlegger he was a bootlegger they did it in the 80s with crack you know they let black people think that they were kingpins of something um, they ruled certain towns and certain cities but they never got bigger than certain cities if you notice and when they got too big and try to try to expand to a different city or a different state they always seemingly ended up in jail with football numbers right um and you know but the the, the italians and the elites profited off all of that 
Um, they did the same thing in the 20s with the bootlegging. You know, a lot of black bootleggers went to jail, even though a lot of white bootleggers owned a lot of the clubs that are still uh, open and, and in the families today um, and profited off of all of prohibition. Same thing before that, you know what I mean? And everything before that, you know what I'm saying? So <laughs> it's the same cycle. It's the same cycle. Diddy was just another bootlegger. This, In this case, human trafficking, God knows what else. And um, he's... He just another nigga going down for it and they gonna have five six more pop up somewhere else to do the same thing for them so you know it's, it's just unfortunate all around it's more unfortunate obviously for all of the victims involved it's unfortunate that like you know the very very wealthy the very very wealthy and powerful you know they never get in trouble for what the fuck they do um I'm gonna do a video about that, about how I just feel like I've been back and forth right now with my faith in God, to be honest. And I'm gonna do a video about that, how I just feel like, you know, God, you know, he, they, fortune favors the boat. No, God favors trash ass people. And I'm just gonna say what the fuck I said. And I'm just leave it at that. But yeah, hopefully Kim Porter's spirit finds peace. Hopefully she gets vindicated the way she needs to. Hopefully your kids aren't too torn up about all this crazy shit that their parents was involved in. Um, you know, and may we all find peace, real peace, real peace in this life.